spearheaded by digitalization and automation, driven by our efforts to chart a brighter future for Singapore's maritime industry, to be a global leader. Tuas Port will be the vanguard of our maritime industry for decades to come. Efficiency, productivity, sustainability. Tuas Port presents a new chapter for MPA and the springboard for our long-term plans as we remain vigilant and responsive to new developments and market opportunities. Maritime industry is the bedrock that our nation is built upon and remains one of our key economic drivers today. Maintaining our sterling reputation is no easy task, but our leaders have been able to uphold our legacy through long-term planning and foresight. Our founding Prime Minister, Mr Lee Kuan Yew, once said that Singapore's raison d'etre was its port. We began our modern existence as a colonial trading post, one of many in the region. The transformation of maritime Singapore has been truly remarkable. We owe much of our success today to our far-sighted forebears, who steadfastly developed our port infrastructure over the decades. In the past 25 years, the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore has been instrumental in making Singapore a global maritime capital made possible by the strong bonds of trust between MPA and its partners, built through years of close collaboration. When Singapore decided to build the first container terminal in 1966, containerization had yet to take off. But in 1972, when the first berths opened in Tanjung Paga, we knew that containers were the way to go. Our port has grown from handling 16 million TUs in 1970s, 1980s, to more than 36 million TUs in 2020. Beyond a physical port, we have also grown to become a vibrant international maritime centre. Our success is due to many reasons, including a strategic geographical location, good infrastructure, rule of law, skilled workers and a government that is well attuned to business needs. However, our journey is not without challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic is one of the greatest tests we have faced in recent memory. At such a time, it is more important than ever to bolster the links of our supply chain and keep our port open. We have strengthened our key processes, ensuring that essential goods and services are still accessible on a global stage. We are also committed to protecting the physical, mental and financial health of our people and our partners. When COVID first struck, the shipping industry grappled as many countries closed their borders and ships could not call at ports. We are heartened that MPA responded with various measures to alleviate the crew change crisis and vaccination for our seafarers, whilst balancing the need to comply with Singapore's national pandemic policies. MPA is also an instrumental partner to the industry-led Star Fund, which will further facilitate safe crew changes and vaccination for our seafarers. The pandemic has put huge strain across whole global supply chains. But overall, the planning and working with the Port Authority here has largely been fairly optimal. The size of the delays that we've incurred have been generally less than many other ports in the world. And we've had good cooperation from the MPA and also from the PSA team as well, who've been berthing our vessels. We also appreciate very recently the MPA's uh, strong efforts to try to improve crew change activity here in Singapore and to also support a vaccination program covering all nationalities of seafarers. We look forward to TUAS coming online, a really true large multi-hub logistics facility with a lot of capacity and a whole new port and ecosystem environment. Through the challenges we have surmounted and the milestones we have crossed, Ultimately, the relationships we have forged with our people and our partners have been at the heart of our success. For Singapore to continue to thrive as an international maritime centre, the whole maritime ecosystem of tripartism has to work together. 
we protected our maritime frontline workers and seafarers by making crew change and vaccination possible. We also provided financial assistance link seafarers to jobs on board ships and extended welfare and moral support. This is what solidarity is and the strength of NTUC, unions and tripartite partners. The foresight to grow our human capital from day one is responsible for instilling passion in our people. A passion that fuels the maritime industry not just in the present but for generations to come. I have been with PSA Marine for 20 years and I'm currently leading the pilotage and digital transformation department. The one thing I like most about my job is that I'm able to make a difference by ensuring that all the ships that call Singapore enjoy safe pilotage service in one of the busiest ports in the world. The marine time industry is a good industry to be in. It has undergone and will continue to go through big changes in terms of process, digitization and technology advancement. The milestones we have achieved across the last 25 years since our inception are a testament to our experience working with our partners globally and have solidified our credibility and reputation across borders. Over the years, Maritime Singapore has worked closely with local and international partners and sailed through many rough waters. Recent challenges, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, and global supply chain disruption have brought out the resilience and tenacity of Maritime Singapore. With tripartite partners working together, our container throughput volumes have recovered to pre-COVID levels. To grow Maritime Singapore in the next bound, we should strive to build an ecosystem that encourages experimentation and innovation, whether in port operations, smart shipping or decarbonisation. To do this effectively, we must dare to try we can provide a conducive environment for businesses and individuals to try new ideas and to pick themselves up again if they fail. To succeed as an innovation hub, we must continue to remain open to ideas and talents from around the world, strengthen our tripartite and international partnerships and discover new technologies and better ways of doing things. That is how Maritime Singapore has succeeded and how we will continue to sail ahead in our journey. We have achieved much over the last 25 years. Best seaport in Asia, leading international maritime centre and top bunkering hub. These are by no means easy feats. They bear testimonies to the vision of our leaders, dedication of our people and support from the industry, both past and present. The next 25 years will not be easy and we must stay on top of the game. We have pressed ahead partnering with you to drive industry transformation our digitalization and decarbonization efforts will be key. So, thank you to all our partners in Maritime Singapore, including the industry, industry association and unions, and we look forward to creating the next 25 years of maritime, global supply chain, as well as decarbonization and energy transition agenda with you.